Guy 360 show number 10. Chris here, Jason, as always. Some cool stuff to talk about today. One, uh, first a little announcement, a little plug for our friend uh, John Del Bruge. He's going to be fighting in Shogun Fights. We're all going to be there. We have 17 tickets. If you happen to be going, this is at uh, Shogun Fights. It's an MMA fight this Saturday night at, what's that place called? Royal Farms? Royal Farms Arena. Royal in Farms Baltimore. Arena in Baltimore. A bunch of us are going to be there. If you're there, come support John and uh, come say hi, too. Um, Cool topic for the show today. A good friend of ours just left his law firm, he's an attorney, and started his own thing. And we started chatting about, in any business across the board, what are the things that you would do immediately, right away, to get the word out there, to get some business coming in, to get the phone ringing? Yep. Let's start with that. That's going to be the topic for today. And then also transitioning that into a very simple game plan, a very simple marketing game plan that anyone can stick with without getting overly complicated. And I know people don't want to become like, you know, super techie marketers, but the basic stuff anyone can do to really take advantage of uh, their marketplace. And, and this applies to any business. Any, any business, business, and a lot of our followers are real estate investors. Every single real estate investor um, who is actually a company, they don't just have an LLC, like they actually want to be business, yep. uh, you know, a real real estate business. But in any industry, this applies to. Yeah, and that is so common that people say, oh, that all that stuff you guys do does not apply to me. Yeah, exactly. It, which, which is, is which probably is straight BS. A, yeah, yeah, it's wrong so, for sure. Okay. Okay, so some some advice that we chatted with him about. Um, number yeah, one, day obviously, one. an online profile, um, website, mm -hmm. website with websites. Number one, number one, because it's not just uh, having website to have like internet marketing. It's also for credibility purposes. So for law firm, law firm um, type of business. Uh, I'm assuming that the majority of their business is direct mail. You know, I, I guess they probably scrape records for someone who gets arrested and they try to. They do. Take, uh, he'll do that for sure. And they also have a good size database since he has been in business perfect. for a while. So, website for you know not just and like his leads are not web oriented for the website purposes. His credibility. A little bit about him. A little yep. bit about his firm and uh, what he can do. So, um, website obviously is number number one. Number two is also related to the website. It's got to be some sort of opt-in form on your website to give something of value and to collect data and collect the information of the person entering your website. Yep. And, um, you know, obviously we were a big follower of Russell Brunson and one of uh, his ads that he's been pushing out lately is websites are dead. You know, websites are, are not what they used to be 10 years ago. 10 years ago you need a website. Now you need a funnel or an opt-in form to create kind of a sequence for people that come to your website, which is which yeah. is very true. Because you define a funnel real quick? Yeah. Um, so pretty like 101 funnel. Yeah. So somebody, I mean, it goes back to exactly where I'm getting at with an opt-in form. If somebody comes to your website and you give them something of value, a video, a coupon, something, um, a free report, something yep. to, to get some information from them in exchange, which is a, you know, at the very least an email address. And then you, with that email address, you have their, you have their contact uh, information and you continue to send them data, you know, free stuff, coupons, events, things about yourself or okay. things about your company. And, um, you right, know, so that's day one getting started. That's we day, have it doesn't matter what business website, you're in, you have to do that. In any business, day one getting started, and there's more stuff to come on day one. Okay. Yeah. But so far, we're at website, opt-in form to start collecting data. What else on day one? Uh, social media profile. Yeah, and uh, all of them. It, and even if you're a, well, all of them, but let's start with you know the ones you need for your business. And I'm, for law firms, I'm assuming it's Facebook um, and LinkedIn. I, I'm for guessing. Sure. For sure, those are the top two. Um, and, I, and, and obviously, LinkedIn for profe you know, to network with professionals and Facebook, just so you can start throwing your content out to the world. Or throwing something like, hey, I'm helping this person, or check this out. And even if you're a private person, and you know I'm somewhat of a private person. I mean, there's so much I have on my personal page, but you are on a web show right now. That's true. <laughs> true. Just saying. Um, but you know, you know, it's you know, there's a lot of a lot of folks that don't want to get on social media or don't want to get on the right. web because they're private. And I get it. And you it's, know, it, it is a process to get over that. Like the first time you see yourself on video or certain pictures, you're like, God, I'm such a douchebag. And it's it's something you have, like if you want to be in the game, you want to own a business, you want to make it happen, some of that stuff you just have to suck up. Well, an exposure. And things you're I mean, comfortable with, but there are going to be certain things that you're not comfortable with that you just have to swallow yeah. that pill and as I, soon as possible. And I get it. And you got to think of a business that operates online the same as a business that operates offline. And think about a storefront compared to a website. And if somebody's coming to your website, you want to 
you know, keep that, you know, get them as a customer. So if they if they come to your website, you better do whatever the heck you can to get their information mm -hmm. so you can go back to them. Just like if you're a storefront and somebody walks into your store and doesn't buy anything, they're gone. And we know, f you know for a fact that acquiring a client is extremely more expensive than retaining a client. I so if somebody's walking into your store, you did your job, right? Like, you did your job, you got them in the store. Now don't, dummy, don't let them walk out of the store without, right. they don't even necessarily have to buy something, give them something of value. They walk into your retail store, say, hey, here's a coupon. Give me your email address, I'm going to give you this physical coupon, or I'm going to give you this $15 gift certificate or whatever to my store for the future, just like a website. Sure. You got them to the website. It's expensive. It takes time. It's hard to get people to I'm websites. And everything. Um, I mean, even if you're doing direct mailing, like the law firm stuff, they're doing direct yeah. mailing, they're coming to your website. If they leave your website, there's zero value, so you do that. Yeah, without a doubt, collect the data. Um, but, other but, stuff on day one. Okay, so... I'd go announcement to everyone you know. You know, whoever you have email records for, yeah, definitely email broadcast. And you can do that on social, on social media too. And social media announcement, press release. Yep, press R release. Free press R release. Real quick, online. we're going going back to everybody you know. Very important to understand that a lot of people don't send emails out to their database or people that they know or announcements because they feel like, oh well, you know, I'm not going to do that. They're not my target client. Yeah, type like of the, thing. the lawyer might say, like, my friends aren't criminals, I'm a criminal lawyer. Exactly, okay. which, is, which is crappy, which is dumb. You know why? Because you're not trying to get business from your friends. You're, but that being said, your friends are like sneezers for you. They know 10, mm -hmm. 20, 30 different people. So you know one person, and through that one person, they know, they know five people, and then they right. know another five people. So that's what it's about. So, you know, most of our friends aren't, you know, our direct friends from high school, college, things like that. They're not real estate investors. But we get a lot of business because we share with the world, with them, and then they know people, and then they know people than they know people yeah, so don't be actually. yeah so don't be you know don't you know don't be scared to send stuff to everybody just saying who you are because right. that you know you have to you have to understand that that one person you're sending that email to probably does not need your services will never need your services mm -hmm. but they know somebody that will yeah and they're your your friends family contacts people you exactly. know for a long time they want to help you out. exactly and, like if, and if you want to help you when you're getting started in something like that. exactly especially support. if you're in a business that you're proud of yeah. I mean if you're slanging whatever and you're not it's just something you know slang and pyramid stuff or something that you're just not comfortable with i get it like you know you're hiding behind it but you know if, if this is your brand if this is your company if this is your business and you're proud of it you know jump jump out yeah. because you sh you know if you're proud of it you should you, you should share that with the world for sure and like i was saying before there are some things that you have to get used to like the first time we were getting on videos the first time we were like there's certain things you post you're like i don't know if i'm comfortable with this yet but uh, but you get there and sure. after a while you see your stuff you know who you are and as long as what you're putting out to the world and your business represents who you are then you can get over it just the fact that your picture and your video is like an exactly. advertising related stuff um, so another thing day one that I think is important especially in the professional field like attorneys and law firms is directory listings you know super lawyer um, I think that's what it's called super lawyer or right. some sort of directories of Google of, local yeah what you what you specialize what you specialize in because it mm -hmm. seems like that's where a lot of people come to search stuff so we kind of talked about that in the internet marketing in the internet marketing um, show that we did right. related to um, you know web you know web social media directories so like episode six or seven something like that somewhere yeah. around there um also i want to give the all right so after you set everything up part of a new business owner or maybe like a lawyer who's obviously very skilled at that niche thing of legal work might be overwhelmed by web marketing in general and doesn't really know where to get started or what they can manage so i wanted to give my friend dave the, a good 101 Here's what you do. It's simple. Do it every week, and it'll it'll grow. And you'll grow as a marketer. Yeah. We didn't even talk about web marketing, though. All we talked about was creating a website, getting a social yeah, media platform, sure. no, we getting did, on we directories. Talked about the day one stuff. <laughs> we talked about the day one stuff, and then moving past day one, yeah. I wanted to give them a real simple roadmap. Agreed. And so I'll go down that real quick. Cool. Um, the easiest, most palatable thing for uh, someone who's not a pro marketer to do is just pick one piece of content every week and make it. It can be an article, it can be a blog, it can be a video, it can be whatever. Pics of you and your uh, staff, it can be anything. Just make sure that you do one piece of content per week and put it everywhere. Consistently. You got. Yeah. It has one, to be. Yeah, you can't miss a week. It's just important as showing up in court, you know? Um, so you make your one thing, let's say it's an article this week, and just put it everywhere. Um, mail it out to your database, email to your list, 
put it on Insta and Twitter and Facebook and LinkedIn. Like just put it everywhere. And if you have staff, of course, you know they can help you with doing that every week. And that's it. Yeah. That's your 101. Start there. Do it every week. It'll snowball like crazy. It starts small. We've talked about the snowball concept. It'll start slow and boring and unimpressive, but it'll grow and it'll yeah. be awesome. And it's very manageable. That amount of work, anybody can fit into their week. One piece. Yeah, not only is it manageable, there's one key thing that we've been talking about on all of this. Pretty much everything we just talked about is for the most part free or very, very inexpensive. Good point. Um, very good I point. mean, setting up a website is next to nothing. You know, maybe a few bucks a month if you got yep. somebody doing it for you. Social media stuff's free. Directory things are typically free or very low, low cost. So, very good point. Um, and it's also an important part of the social platform, the social profile that I think a lot of people forget about is just the straight credibility purposes. I mean, the credibility purposes of, I mean, you know, anytime you're trying to buy a, buy a product or a service, you're going to go online and you're going to do some research about it. That's just yeah. what, what somebody does. So if, you know, if, if I'm going to buy something or if I'm going to use Dave as a service provider and I can't find him on the internet or I, you know, don't know prior cases he's done or, or services that, I don't even know what services he's involved in. So obviously that's, that's a big thing. Yeah. Um, on that note, I'm glad you mentioned that all that stuff is free because the paid things, which I would say are mainly PPC and paying an SEO consultant, I would probably skip that at first. Absolutely. Until you get... He has direct mail. He's doing mail. He's doing direct he has, marketing. He has a database, so he, he's starting with some stuff to work with, and that costs. That uh, costs money, and that's really effective in, in, yeah. a, in a lot of those service business yeah. spaces. But I'd skip the PPC. I would skip the expensive SEO consultant, because as a new site and everything yeah. else, you're not going to get search rankings besides maybe local stuff. Local's different, and that's probably a topic for a different show. Yeah. But, um, yeah, he's got direct mail, so he needs the website, because what's, you obviously you need a call to action. So when you set a mail piece house, what are you going to do? Some people are going to call. Some people are going to go to a website. If you don't have a website, you're going to miss that traffic, yeah. right? You're going to miss that exposure already. So obviously the only advice which he is going to have to do immediately is for the people that do come to the website that don't like have a call to action, that don't immediately take action, he's, there's got to be something on there to collect their information so he can go back after them at a later date for free. For sure. <laughs> for free. For sure. You throw them in your email database. And it's I'm free, 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 free. I'm glad you repeated that a few times because <laughs> it's that important. It and it's that, that easy. And it's easy. Data. It's that's what your snowball is. That's how it grows. Exactly. Whether it's a social media follower, yeah. so a subscriber on your email list, whatever it may be, that's yeah. where he's, it comes from. Viewers on YouTube. Yeah, he's paying sixty cents or a buck a person to mail them, right? Get them when they come when they finally like do what you want them to do, and the call to action has come there. Do it. Um, you want to go into the uh, who it applies to and apply it. Yeah. Let me mention one other thing okay. related um, related to that, and then we'll talk about who it applies to um, because it's it's kind of on this topic, but I think it's important because we see this a lot in the real estate space. Is that like when you come to people's websites? And let's use this law firm's website for example. If I'm doing research on a criminal attorney, I come to a law firm's website and I see we're the jack of all trades, criminal auto, real estate law, this, 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 it's just like you lose so much credibility. And in real estate investors, they kind of do the same things. We buy right. notes, we do lending, we do wholesaling, we do flipping, we do this. It's like, really, you're the expert in all of these things? Like you lose, like pe people think like they want, um, you know, they want to be involved in all these things, so you have a lot of different services right. to offer people, but be an expert in one of them and, and yeah. that's it. And no matter what business you're in, you know, have your core model, have your core business. I mean, hard money lending, that's what we do. <laughs> yeah, we do other things too, but that is our main thing. If you yeah. come to hardmoneybankers.com, exactly. that's you, what you're going and, to see. And if, you go to his, and, it, and if you go to his website, it needs to say, you know, criminal defense attorney and for sure. That's it. For sure. Yeah, let's, um, let's, right. let's do that real quick. There is a little uh, challenge that popped up um, before we started recording that this applies to 100%, this is Jason's challenge. This applies to 100% everyone across the board, no matter what kind of profession you're in. Yep, right? and not just the website. It also is the funnel. And having a website an, uh, and a funnel. A website and a funnel to collect, their, to collect people's data for customer. What if you're a spy? So what if you're a spy? Like you don't you see heard like that. you heard that somewhere. No, I didn't. We no, talked didn't. about that just somewhere else. I don't. We did. I mean, right, you don't well, see you, like Karen well, Matheson like meerkatting like what she's doing. That's in Iraq. Government agency. She doesn't own a business. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
I mean, if you're a spy where you, and you need what if she's a custom, private, well, she's a private spy. There's okay. there's private investigators up there for sure. You could still advertise your services. Got you on that one, dog. Damn, you didn't get me on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're talking. So I mean, I'm not talking. Your services, I'm not talking not like, like professions. I'm talking like business owners and entrepreneurs that have okay. a business. Yeah. I mean, you could be a private eye. I guess you could market in that way, but it's not like you're. I mean, you cannot you know, live streaming like yeah, you, what you're up to. You tell you people. Yeah, you telling me that you you shouldn't have a website. You shouldn't have a database and a funnel. Uh, that you want to rank and you want to be like the center of attention is like you yeah. telling me that I'm going to start a, a business and I'm going to go put that business behind another business. I'm going to go put that business behind Walmart. I want to sign, you know, I want to, I want to sell whatever, uh, no. something. I want to sell a widget and I'm going to, I'm literally, and it's going to be this big and I'm going to put my storefront behind Walmart. I, I mean, I, I agree with the concept. <laughs> Believe me, this is what we do every day. I, all right. I got another one. Okay. I got you. Go ahead. I was talking to Arnold one time. Arnold is a, uh, a good friend of ours. He's an older guy. He's an investor client, been with us forever. And um, he's about 80, give or okay. take. And we were talking about LinkedIn. He's like, I saw your thing on LinkedIn. He's like, should I do that? I was like, yeah, why not? Put, your, put yourself on LinkedIn. He goes, nah, it's not for me. And OK, as an accountant in business, of course, it could you know, okay, should I got be for him. Okay. But he's like, it's just not something I want to pay attention to at all. And okay. he's like semi-retired okay, well, and pretty wealthy. And okay, I mean, I, I appreciate that example. Like I, I wasn't going to argue with him. I mean, say, the Arnold, you have to. <laughs> like I wasn't going to say Arnold. No, well, the thing is this. What? Let me follow you on Insta. Oh, Arnold. Arnold's in a five-person uh, CPA firm. He used to be the number one guy. Now he's the number five guy. Yeah, he's semi-retired. <laughs> so he's semi-retired. It's it's get that as long as that number one guy's on there right. and that and, business and, and the firm. And again, this company. is business. This is not necessarily personal. Like if you you know, even though I think you need a social media personal profile yeah it's more it's the business profile but you've changed that, yeah. on the personal you yeah. used to like the personal whose phone's blowing up probably the meerkat no it's it's the it's the mind? i no, i know that it's i don't like the personal one i don't like my personal one I, but it's the business side yeah no you definitely and i have to log into my business side from my personal one <laughs> yeah so, okay, sorry, we got a little distracted, again, but the phone that was streaming started ringing. Um, yeah, I mean, again, again, this is... Okay, it applies this, to everyone finding you in. <laughs> yeah. Josh, do you know any businesses that, uh, you know, you should not have a... You don't agree that you need a website, a social media pro profile, and an opt-in funnel? You're on yes. the spot. Businesses that are out of business. <laughs> <laughs> the ones that don't need them. Good luck. Yeah. Okay. yeah, okay. They all do. It doesn't matter what you are. And even if you're regulated by, you know, real estate commission or financial advisory commission, you still need it. you got to follow their regulations, but right. you, 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 you still need it. I mean, just go back to, you know, I have a storefront and I'm behind Walmart and, I, and I'm competing with them. It's just yeah. dumb. All right. That's cool. our show for today. Any questions? Anything we got to go over? Come see no. us again at uh, Royal Farms Arena on Saturday night for our friends' fight. There's going to be a bunch of us there, so definitely come say Shogun hello fights. if you are there. Shogun Fights uh, is what it's called. Um, yeah, so that is a show about if we were to start a business like our friend Dave on day one, what would we do marketing-wise and everything else to put out the word and get started? Yeah. Plus, I threw in the game plan for anyone who's like, I don't know what to do marketing after day one. Jay Simple step-by-step step plan. On Mercat asked, what is the name of your podcast? The At podcast is the REI 360 show. Hashtag the REI 360 show to find us on any social media and ask and, questions. And you got any, another one? Go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say any questions related to this topic because it's a, it's a popular one. For sure. So uh, REI360.net is your website. Hashtag REI 360 show on social will pull up all your stuff, right? Exactly. Um, and then also uh, Daryl uh, is new to Meerkat. He says, how would you use it in a hair salon? How would you use Meerkat in a hair salon? I okay. think that's a great question. M Meerkat or, or what we're talking about? Meerkat. Meerkat specifically. Mm -hmm. you, you guys know Meerkat better than all I do. Right, all right, I got that one. Yeah. Go ahead. Well, first of all, we, you know, uh, we mentioned John Del Bruce and his family. They're our office neighbors. They own a salon right next door. And they're good marketers, too. And that is something that would certainly apply to a hair salon. What's going on inside there? It's a streaming, seeing you know the services they offer, hair and nails yeah. and I other beauty an things. I think the sky is an incredibly neat thing at, yeah. the, at sure. the hair salon. Yeah. Put it in the corner, leave it there. That's easy. Sure. Like, the women are chatting. Customer test, customer testimonials oh. live. Yeah. You ever seen uh, yeah. the show Barbershop? Yeah. That's what Barbershop was, right? right. Yeah. They've even they that even had too. Bravo shows that followed hair salons. So For that's sure. a that's a big industry, and there's it. It's any offline or online business. Blow, blowout. Yeah. Was the name of the show? Blowout. Show. You're right. I know. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I don't know that's how the you show. Know that. Thanks for checking it out, and we'll right, see, you see you next time. time.